Hey there, Matt here. Today we're going to show you how to test and replace your GE washer or drain pump. It pumps the wastewater out of the tub. If the impeller is damaged or the motor has failed, the washer won't drain. It's not that difficult, so let's get started. With over 2 million products in stock and the know-how to help you do it yourself, we are AppliancePartsPros.com. In this video, we'll need a towel, a 3 cent socket, a ratchet with an extension, a multimeter with narrow pin extensions, a small flathead screwdriver, a pair of pliers, and a spray bottle with water in it. Remember, safety comes first. Anytime you're working on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Make sure to turn off the hot and cold water supplies and remove the drain hose. Also make sure to remove your fill hoses by loosening them up with some pliers and then unscrewing them by hand. You want to make sure you put a towel down so you catch any water that may come out and also label the hoses so you remember which one's hot and which one's cold. If your GE washer isn't draining, it could be a couple different things. If you hear the pump running while it's supposed to be draining, but it's not draining, it could just be that it's clogged. But if you don't hear the motor running, it could be that the drain motor itself has failed. In order to work on it, we have to tilt it back. So you want to make sure you take as much water out as you can. And then we're going to tilt the machine back and support it with a box. You can put a towel across the back and support it on the wall if you want. We're just going to tilt it back carefully. Now that we have the machine tilted back, we have access to the drain pump. It's located over here on the right hand side. We're going to put a towel down to catch any water that may come out. And then we're going to use a ratchet with an extension and a 3 8 inch socket to take out the three bolts that hold it in. Now the way the bolt's out, we're just going to pull the drain pump down. It's just pressed into the tub with the seal. Just pull down on it. And we're going to look inside the tub to make sure nothing's there. And then look inside the drain pump to make sure it's not clogged. If it's clogged, you can just clean it out and put it back together. If it's not clogged, we're going to test the motor to see if it's good or bad. We're just going to carefully let the motor hang from this little wire clip right there. It's not that heavy. And then we're going to use the 3 8 inch socket with the ratchet and the extension to take out the screws that hold the cover on. Once you have those out, you can just pull the cover off and set it aside. Now that we have the cover off, we have access to the drain pump wiring harness. This so is where we're going to test it for voltage. But first we have to put it back up on its feet. Plug it back in and run the diagnostic test. You want to look underneath the machine and see if you can find the tech sheet. If not, you can just follow along. But just be aware your model might be different. We're going to press the start button and hold it. And then we have to turn the main control knob seven times. And then let it go. Once all the lights are flashing, we're going to turn the knob 12 more times clockwise to get to the drain pump test. Once you have soak and wash lit up, you know you're in the drain pump test. And we're going to hit the start button to energize the drain pump. Once you do that, you have four minutes to carefully tilt the machine back and test the wire harness to make sure you're getting voltage down there. We're about to test live voltage on the washing machine while it's plugged in. Extreme care should always be taken to protect against electrical shock, which has the potential to cause serious injury. Please don't do any live voltage testing if you're uncomfortable using a multimeter around live voltage. In order to test the drain pump, we're gonna set it on volts AC. And we have to test the wire harness right here. So we're just going to take the narrow pin test leads and get into each wire. It should read 120 volts. Keep in mind that the number can fluctuate up or down by 
If you have voltage, but the pump's not running, that means it's bad and you'll have to change it out. It looks like our pump has voltage, but the motor's not running, so we're gonna replace it. So we're gonna come back up and take the washer out of diagnostic mode. We're just gonna hit the start button for three seconds and hold it, and then unplug it, and then we can go back down and change the drain pump. To take the old drain pump out, we're just gonna release the wiring harness. Just a little tab in the front that you have to press on to release. And then there's this little holder holding it to the gear case. We're just gonna take a small flathead screwdriver and help pop it out. It might be in there a little tight. If it breaks, it doesn't matter. You get a new one with the new drain pump. So just grab a pliers and pull it down, pull it out. Then we're gonna reach in with the pliers and move the clamp up so we can take the hose off. Just gonna compress it, move it up. We're just gonna pull the hose off the pump. Once you have the drain pump free, you can pull it off the washer. Here's the old drain pump next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get out of appliancepartspros.com. Before you put the new drain pump in, you want to get the seal wet a little bit so it's easier to slide into the tub. Same thing with the drain hose fitting and hose, just to make it slide together a little bit easier. We're going to put it on there and then kind of turn it over and do the clamp like before. Just going to grab the pliers and press it. Once you have the hose on, we're going to lift the drain pump up into place, push it into the tub. Once you have it in place, we're going to use the 3 8 inch socket with the ratchet and the extension put the bolts in. Once you have it mounted, we're going to connect the wire harness, put the clip in to hold it in. And then we're going to plug in the wiring harness. So to plug it in, make sure it locks in, you get a good connection. To put the cover on, you just have to line it up with the mounting holes. We're going to use the ratchet with the extension and the Prius in socket to put in the bolts. When you put the bottom one on, make sure it goes through the grounding wire. Once you have the machine put back together, we can carefully set it back up on its feet. Then you can put the fill hoses back on. You want to start them by hand and then tighten them up with some pliers. Then we can plug the machine back in, turn the water on, and put the drain hose back in. Hopefully that fixed your issue. Don't forget, if you need a new drain pump, you can take your model number and search for the correct part at appliancepartspros.com. Most orders will arrive within just a few business days. Before you go, remember to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to see more of our how-to videos. See you next time.